Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Ives Community Access Service. This is Barry Fair signing on for another Tuesday, and it's the last day of April today, and my work how April has flown, and we are into May tomorrow, the first day, and and winter is coming up, so enjoy the warm, sunny weather while you can. And on the opening sequence of our show today, I would like to talk about the importance of staying healthy over the winter break. Winter is a time of sickness, colds and flus, and gastro bugs. And here now with her comment on this, it's a very good morning to my special guest, and welcome. Hello, nice to meet you guys. Yes, Barry's very right. You need to stay healthy in winter. Make sure that you're taking all the precautions not to get colds and anything like that. And also wear your jumper and a singlet as well, and a beanie to keep your head warm, and a scarf for your neck. Now, if you are sick, please do not come to work and spread your germs around, because that's how other people can get sick. Is my special guest. Yeah, exactly. Make sure that you're not going to work if you are sick because you don't want everyone else to get sick around you. That's not fair to everyone else. It's better that you just rest and get better. And also, if you're going to work sick, you're probably going to end up getting more sick. So you'd rather just rest for a week and then go back when you're better and have a new start. And also get a doctor's certificate as well and clearance from the doctor as well so he can say yes or no if you are planning on going back to work. Here's my special guest. Yep, and make sure you're taking the right medication, listening to the doctor and taking all the medication that they say you should this is very important for you to get better, otherwise you may not get completely better. Yeah, make sure you're staying warm when you're sick, wearing jumpers, as Barry said, and scarves and gloves and everything else to keep you warm. <coughs> and if you have got a cough, get some cough medicine. Ask your pharmacist which is the best cough medicine for you. Here's my offside. Exactly. Make sure you're going and getting all the cough medicine that your doctor says. If you need to get codril, cold and flu, go buy that from the pharmacy as well. And yeah, just the most important thing is just going to the doctor whenever you're sick, because otherwise you won't get better. And, and don't leave it until it's too late. Get on top of your health, guys, please. This is so important with the winter coming up. You want to keep healthy and make sure that you take your vitamin C, drink plenty of fluids during the winter months, like a hot lemon and honey drink. Now, get some good lemon guys to make a lemon and honey drink. So squeeze some lemons, add some hot water and a couple of tablespoons of honey. And there you've got yourself a nice, hot, soothing lemon and honey drink to keep your vitamin C intake up. And your fluid intake is important too, guys. Here's my offside. Exactly, lemon and honey tea is super important. You can have as many cups as you want to a day if you need. Really soothes the throat when you have sore throat. And so you can have that. Well, 
as well as your medication to make sure that you're staying on top of things and having the fastest and quickest recovery in order to get back to work and get better. And cancel any plans you have made as well, guys, such as going to the club, the movies, or dinner with friends because you don't want to be passing whatever you have got onto them and make sure that you cancel your taxis because yeah, the taxi drivers don't want to get sick either. Here's my off either. Yeah, exactly. You've got to make sure in situations where you're sick over the winter that you are being selfless and you're thinking about others because you don't want them to have the same sickness you do. So it's very important that you just keep your bugs to yourself, try not to go out too much and just be very cautious of the people around you because, yeah, you don't want them to get sick as well. Barry has a good point there. And also, keep Tribble home for emergencies. He's my offsider. Yep, exactly. So you can only, you should only call Tribble O when there is an emergency. You have to make sure that you're making the right decisions and only calling when it's necessary, as you don't want to be calling it when you don't need to, as that could stop other people who are in need of getting help when, as soon as they need it. So yeah, very, very important issue. Want to continue on that, Barry? And and also, don't call triple zero for non-emergencies like for a cold. Use your common sense, guys. Here's my offsider. Exactly. So if you have a cold, there's no need to be calling triple zero. If you're okay and you know you're all right, you can go to the doctor. You can all those other options like you can. Call a doctor to your house if you're actually feeling very unwell, but only use triple zero for an emergency and make sure you really do make the right decisions with that. And also, be honest with the doctors too and don't waste their time because they've got other patients to see and uh, on the next the next subject, committing to a doctor's appointment because there are other people that need to see the doctor as well. And the doctor's surgeries are only open on the weekend to cater for big emergencies like for children if they are sick. Here's my offsider. Yeah, exactly. Make sure that on the weekends you are only calling the doctor if you need to. And of course, there is the option to call them on the weekends and they'll be there. But you only want to be doing it in situations where it's serious and necessary. Making sure that children are also getting help when they need it and only when it's necessary. And also, don't tell the doctor's lies because they will not be impressed in my special guest. Exactly. It's very important that you're only telling the doctor the truth about how you're feeling. Don't say anything that's not true because it's not going to help anyone. Most important thing is that you can get better and the doctor can help you and also the doctor can be helping all the people that need it. So make sure that you're being honest when you go to the doctor and with what your sickness is. And coming up after the break on the show, we're going to be talking about what foods to eat over the winter break to keep you healthy and not get sick. But one thing we did forget, nearly forgot to mention on the opening sequence, is get a flu shot before the flu takes hold. And the spread of flu is up to you. And coming up right now on the show are some healthy food ideas to keep your strength up. You're watching the Tuesday edition of Sandheim's Cash. And we'll be back after the break.
Are you, are you suffering from a sore throat or a painful sore throat? Get some, get some, get some throat lozenges now from your chemist and get some lymphs. If you think you're catching a cold, use your lemon, a nice soothing lemon drink. And only use lemsip as directed. And if pain persists, please see your doctor.